Welcome back to this National Scale Model on Lee. Today we're going to do a review of this, which is the Vignettes How To Guide uh, from Actheon Press, a guide to realise scenes and vignettes. Uh, now, we've done a few book uh, reviews from Actheon Press, and I really like their style, I have to say, and when they bring out a new book, I'm pleased to get one. Um, I do like uh, just the style that it's presented in, um, it's just the way that they explain everything, it's picture step by steps, they, they list the materials that they've used and how they use each material in each step. A lot of books tend to skip over a few bits here and there and you're left thinking, well actually how did he achieve that exact thing? Uh, but you don't get that problem with these. Um, I've read them cover to cover, several of them now, and uh, I have to say I'm, I'm really impressed and I always go back for more when they come out. So uh, what we're going to do is going to have a quick look at this. Um, uh, as I say, it's a vignette, a how-to guide, a guide to realise scenes and vignettes by uh, Joaquin uh, Garcia Gathquez. Um, and uh, basically it's just a, a little scene on the front, as you can see there, and on the back it's just a couple of other little scenes, nothing to write home about. Uh, what we'll do is have a look inside. As you open the first page, uh, you've literally got, I'm going to zoom in a bit for you, hold on, so you can see that, there you go. Uh, you've literally got uh, just a, an index, um, then you've got an editorial uh, about how this book intends to help you, how they're, what they plan to do with it and everything. Um, and that's by Rodrigo Hernandez Cabos, um, who's quite a regular uh, in these books. Uh, and it goes on and on. And it says here the difference between a di diorama and a vignette, uh, how to tell a story, you know, um, decorating the vignette, why scenes are made. Vignettes uh, are typically uh, very small versions of dioramas. A diorama would be, let's say, you'd have the tank is yay big, 135 tank, and a diorama would be yay big. Uh, but a vignette would be uh, the size of the tank, and maybe just a little bit extra on the side that um, just releases the detail of the tank for you. Um, but it goes on to the composition, how to set out your, um, uh, your, di your vignette. Uh, where to place things, the symmetry, parallel lines, a uh, great back element, a, a, a great thing rather than just um, a lot of books when they do dioramas or vignettes or anything like that, they concentrate on uh, the process, they don't concentrate on the pre-process which is the planning stage of everything which is, you know, if you don't plan anything correctly it's never going to come out too right anyway but here um, it tells you how to use the elements of the board that you're going to use and things like that as well. So very nice indeed. Um, and uh, the first one is Bits Clean in France, uh, basic decoration tips. Um, and as you can see, I do like the style of, of uh, uh, the Spanish painting. I just love that style. I just it just it works for me. Uh, but again, they start right from the very beginning. How to build up the vehicle. Uh, obviously, I don't think we need too much to know too much about. Um, but they are saying about how they paint it up and weather it and everything like that as we go on through as you can see. How they do wind, like windscreen wiper marks and, and dirty windows, things like that. I think that's really good, a little, nice little touch. Um, and as you go on through as you can see how they dirty up the wheels um, and then uh, you're going to have like, the mudding of the car. Now what they've done is they've built the model and then they say right the composition and it shows you here how you're going to work out your composition where to place everything to the best effect. Um, you know, I, I really do like this, the fact that they're giving you the overall picture rather than just uh, saying, well, you build it, you plonk it on there and you put some grass around it and a bit of mud and here's how we weather it and etc. etc. which is how a lot of magazines do work. Um, and it says here, the figures, an irreplaceable item. I think a lot of dioramas and a lot of models fall down on their figure um, because really when you're doing a vignette if you're going to use a figure you, your figure has got to be as good as the diorama or the vignette or the model that you build as well and invariably they're not because figure painting is quite hard and it's always the figure that lets it down um, that looks a bit plasticky and not quite as real as the rest of the diorama so I think as this book says here it, just as much care and attention should be taken while doing the figure as for the rest of the model as well and uh, they spent a whole, you know, whole full section here um, working on the figure, how to get highlights, low lights, you know, how to get skin tones and things like that. So it's really good, really in depth. Uh, and then they've got the ground, how to set up the vignette on the base and everything, you know, how to put tie marks into it, little rocks and 
all sorts of different gravel effects, you know, different con contact, um, uh, textures and everything, and then giving a paint and a spray and, and so on and so forth, and highlights and lowlights again as well. Um, and as you can see, the, build, the, the diorama build up and build up, and then you've got the extras like the, the signposts and things like that. Plants, trees, you know, how to manufacture those yourself and everything rather than buying originals. And then you've got the finished product, which I think you'll agree is really good indeed. I like it. I love it. Absolutely love it. And, uh, you know, then you've got, then you've got, um, now this will just be keep going on and on and on. And we've come to a section here, which is quite odd. What's this? What is this? Okay, I don't know what that is. You can see I haven't read this yet. Uh, ha, how, really, how, how very good is that? Look at that, that's fantastic. So what they've done for the next section, uh, they put a picture of a model on there, some tracing paper, some three through paper, and how they would work out the angles uh, and the composition of the shot itself overlaid onto the model itself. And it's the same with this one here, you can look at a top down view. And again, you can see where you can place it and the, and the grids and how to work out. How fantastic is that? How absolutely fantastic. I haven't seen that before in a book, in a modeling book. Really, really well thought out. Really well thought out. You can see why I like these guys so much. And again, they're going on to proportions, how she made your proportions, the golden ratios, it's the same as photography, the golden ratio, how to, to work it all out. As you can see from this information here, really in depth uh, and informative rather than just, oh, here's a model and this is how we weathered it, you know. Um, oh, fantastic, absolutely fantastic. I'm really impressed with that. And again, it's another vignette, and again, same sort of process, a little bit of the composition, build a little bit on building the model, sections of the model they've built all in total, and then the figure, onto the base again, and uh, brush and wildlife and fauna and everything. Um, and then onto the next one, and then compose uh, Hungar Hungarian Air Fleet Crew on Maneuvers, composing a vignette. Now this is the one that we saw the um, tracings of. So then you can see how they've built it up again, the reference access for it. Absolutely fantastic, I'm so impressed with that. That is really good. I've never seen that in a modern book before. It's so well explained. Uh, and then they've gone to painting the model again, bit of, bit of work on the tracks, uh, a little bit on the weathering and things like that. Um, but what you've got to remember is, yes, they've gone into the weathering and painting the photos, but the focus is actually on the composition and the making of the, the vignette and the diorama rather than the models themselves, which I do like, which is what the book is about. And they've got sculpting the ground and how to make your ground and everything, uh, as you can see. And uh, I would imagine like this, so they've done here, placing the, the model on at regular intervals to make sure that you've got and you're happy with where everything is placed. Um, and you've got this power transformer and everything here as well. It looks like a lot of it's, oh no, there's actually, you can actually buy it. Um, and some scratch build in there as well. As you can see, it actually come up absolutely beautiful with the weathering and everything there. Look at that. Really nice indeed. Uh, and then onto the plants and the ground soil again and things like that. Um, and then it's got finishing chores. So your snag list basically, uh, making up to make sure that everything is looking good and realistic. Um, that's a fantastic little dio, and that's been a vignette, should I say. And you can see that it's been composed and thought through as well, and that's uh, a, a good tallying difference between a lot of um, uh, dioramas and vignettes and things like that. You can just say, well, I've built this base and I'm going to plonk a tank on it, you know, um, rather than you can, something that's planned, you can, doesn't matter what angle you look at it from, um, it's always going to look good. There's no blind spots, you know, every, every angle tells a story. Um, and that's the difference between the great dioramas and vignettes and the, 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 the normal ones, you know, people who take the care for the preparation in looking at it and thing and you know, toying with the ideas before they even build a thing. Um, there's another one here playing with different heights. So again, they've, they've, they're saying, right, with well, this aspect here, as you can see, contour lines and everything, compositions, triangulations, heights and volumes. They've worked out that, where, you know, if they put a figure higher than the other, how would it look? Where would it go? Where's the best place for it? Um, and uh, really good indeed. Really nice. And again, similar sort of thing. Tilting the planes, so this is obviously having something at an angle, and again, tells you how to work it out, make sure the composition's good, and then goes on to the model, and so on and so forth. So I think it's pretty much 
the same all the way through. Um, you've got telling a story, which is basically what I've just said. You know, when you look at it from any angle and you can see things happening and things that you don't see from one angle but you can see from other angles, it really helps to make the, you know, the model stand out and, you know, gives you that awe factor where, you know, this is actually you can see what's meant to be said in the, in the, in the vignette or the diorama itself. Uh, and then you've got other approaches, uh, which is, seems to be the last one here. And uh, it looks like it's just making something, you know, different. You know, we've got some tracks on there, on a bit of waste ground. It looks like they're going to have some kids on there as well. Yep, a couple of kids on there. And again, these, these were sculpted. He sculpted them himself. Fair play. Um, God, yeah, I, th I, would, I would recommend unless you're a good sculptor to go and buy some. Uh, but as you can see from start to finish, how he's composed and you know made this this little diet, this little vignette up of these two kids going through some paperwork on set on these old tank tracks. I think it's absolutely brilliant. And that's it. Uh, and obviously you've got landscapes of war volume two, which I have done a review on, I believe. Uh, I've also got volume three here as well, which I may do a review on in the near future. Uh, depends uh, how uh, I feel in the next month or so. Uh, but for me, um, I love these books from Macmillan Press. Um, I think they're spot on and they're exactly how uh, a tutorial book, because it's selling itself as a how-to guide, as a tutorial book, and I think it sold itself and it's bang on. I mean, I absolutely, I'm going to, I haven't read this yet, I am going to sit down and read this. I love the attitude and the approach to the work involved, um, the, the pictures, the telling of the story, not just of the models, but obviously the building of them as well. As well. So really impressed with that. The price has been flashed up. I think it's about 30 euros, give or take two euros, uh, if I remember rightly. To me, worth every penny. Uh, I've never done a proper vignette. I've done little things, little bases for aircraft to sit on. Never really given any thought. Um, but this, I've, I've got all the materials to do some vignettes. Um, so I think I'm gonna have a go and follow the uh, the, um, the the little how-to guide in this book and set it all up and do it that way. Actually, thorough recommend from me. Really impressed with that, I really am. So that is the uh, Vignettes a How-To Guide by Joaquin uh, Garcia Gasquez. A guide to realise scenes and vignettes from Matthew Press. Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.